right, coming up next, it is a welterweight matchup between Nate Diaz and Tony Ferguson. Justin Gaethje and anyone else you want to throw in the mix. This is about as watchable a fighter as we have on the UFC roster, the former interim lightweight champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is just nasty from the elbows that he lands on the feet to on the back, the submission ability that he possesses. One of the most diverse strikers in the UFC and with a college wrestling background, every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know that you have your hands full. And there's some fighters who just don't like training, right? Frank Mir would always say, I don't like to train. <laughs> Tony Ferguson loves to train. He'll go five or six hours hard. That's crazy. And from a work ethic standpoint, few guys are going to be able to match going to be the last time we see this guy compete, but there's a lot to like when we see Nate Diaz in the eye. Nate Diaz is a savage, a guy that just epitomizes fighter from the attitude, the walk, the music, everything tells you that when Nate Diaz shows up, you're getting ready to watch a fight. A fantastic striker and a great jiu-jitsu practitioner. Yeah. Nate Diaz is just a well-rounded fighter and one of the biggest stars in the UFC. We've seen the Stockton slap before. I'll set the total. It's just so disrespectful. Over under one and a half. It's so he throws it tonight. It's just so disrespectful, <laughs> but it's so Nate Diaz. I will see if he invokes the Stockton slap here tonight, but Nate Diaz is back and hopefully in a big way for his supporters around the world. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC walkerweight division. It's who he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nick Diaz! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. <laughs> the taunts look so stupid when you play the uh, when you play with full presentation okay Ooh. So uh, tonight is tonight is UFC 279. We're looking at the uh, the new main event: Tony Ferguson versus Nate Diaz. I'm playing as uh, Tony Ferguson, fighting legendary AI Nate Diaz, which is hardest difficulty. 
to stand with the best strikers in the world. Can you believe this happened? The day before the fight, Kamzak missed weight by seven and a half pounds. His camp and trainer said his body started cramping and uh, locking up and cutting weight. Hilarious. He's a professional fighter and wrestler. You can't cut weight. So Dana White and the UFC rearranged the whole card. And this is the new 279. Which is a shame because I was looking forward to seeing Kamzat eat Nate Diaz for breakfast. Ooh. I got to be careful because I think Tony Ferguson is the better fighter. But Nate Diaz has these incredible hands. When he throws, he leans in to make his reach even longer. Diaz is also good with uh, like rubber guard type submissions off of his guard. So I don't even want to take him down. Ooh. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's what? the activity that will overwhelm his opponent. Jeez. Like the start of that. Well, he continues to stay busy and he can Tony Ferguson can also switch stance at will. Oh no! I tried to take him down. Wow. I have a special tradition. Wow. I have a personal tradition that I try to go for something at the end of a round. It usually ends with me getting KO'd or knocked down or rocked. And tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. I tried to steal a takedown. And got knocked down instead with an uppercut. That's embarrassing. Look how bloody Diaz is. I was doing all right. He has a southpaw. Let's try southpaw. This Ferguson has a 99 rating on switching stance and on his uh, cardio recovery. What? I'm blocking. Is my controller dead? What is happening? Oh, crazy. The trigger button's broken on my controller. Let's see if I can finish this without blocking. Wow. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combination. Oh, I got to switch controllers. That was ridiculous. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? It's not the controller. You're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him There's a glitch. I believe the jab has been working so well. Block stopped working. Wow. Crazy. Is that part of legendary AI? It's like playing Metal Gear Solid. Buttons on the control stop working. Ooh. Ooh. I can't block. Oh my gosh. I switched controllers and the block stopped working. Crazy. Should I upload this? 
execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Let's upload it. See what's going on with these controllers. Which is weird because PS5 just had an update for the DualSense control. And I updated both of them, and then this happens. Within the truck, this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Wow. Maybe that'll happen tonight at 279. Tony Ferguson will just lose his ability to block and get crushed by Diaz. And the funny thing is Diaz has the most losses on the card at 13. But not when he plays against me. <laughs> Wow, thanks for watching. Hopefully my two controllers aren't broken. We'll see. Until next time.